The EU has also vowed unshakable support for Ukraine. Ursula von der Leyen says that the bloc sanctions against Russia are here to stay. Meanwhile, Kyiv is working to secure territory it has reclaimed from Russian forces. President Volodymyr Zelensky visited the freshly recaptured city of Izium in country's northeast. The war-torn nation wants to show Western backing in arms and finance is making a difference. The Ukrainian leader attended a flag-raising ceremony in front of the burnt-out city, City Hall building. He also greeted soldiers and said that scenes of the devastated town are not shocking for him because similar atrocities are repeated around the country. Mr. Zelensky says life will return in areas retaken by the army. Kyiv's forces have been recapturing territory in the Kharkiv region at lightning pace. Now, this map showing how much land Ukrainian forces have retaken in just the last four days. One Russian military commander says the front line in eastern Ukraine is approaching the borders of the Luhansk region, which Moscow occupied in July. But in the Donetsk region, Russian attacks have led authorities to once again urge all residents to flee to safer parts of Ukraine. Officials say the invaders opened fire all across the region's front lines last night. And at least five civilians have been killed since yesterday. President Zelensky's visit to Izium has raised the spirits of his troops. But the military is just beginning to assess the damage caused by Russian forces there and in other liberated areas. Izium served as an important command and supply hub for Moscow's northern front. This open field shows the cratered landscape left by Russia's relentless shelling. Almost every building in the city is damaged. And as the invaders retreated, they left behind weapons and equipment, an unexpected boon for Ukrainian forces. Some troops even thanked Russia for donating arms. But in uh, Balaklia, which is another recently liberated town in Kharkiv region, there are reports of Russian forces torturing residents. One official says the occupiers detained people who had served in the military or had relatives in service. Some were detained in basements for days and fed nothing but porridge. Witnesses claim there were always at least 40 prisoners. But after Kyiv's troops retook the town, locals are now more at ease going out. Мы даже пирожков напекли, как раз получилось, что они к нам подъехали, мы погостили тазиком пирожков.